What's up guys, DJ Mike James coming at you. I got another uh, first look, somewhat of a box opening and a product review on the IHEO uh, animated party laser. Now this laser is uh, similar that it does have the animated effects on it. Um, remote control, it says it's DMXable master slave. Of course, you can run this through your wireless DMX controller or wired DMX controller, whichever you prefer. But with that being said, we'll get this box open, check it out, and we'll see how this goes. All right guys, DJ Mike James coming at you. Let's get this box open, the IHEO. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, animated laser. See what we got here, we got a uh, free product upgrade thing for something. Oh, they gave us like clean wipes for the lenses. That's actually pretty cool, no one really does that. Um, we have the user's manual, of course. Some packaging, our power cable, two remotes. And without further ado, the IAO party laser. Let's just drop that out of the way. Now, as you guys know, I do run animated lasers in uh, my expanded package setup, which uh, includes my Shed's uh, one watt animated lasers, which is a similar fixture to this one. This is definitely more compact, as you can see the size of it. It does have a top mount bracket here, already installed on there, so we don't have to do that. As we go through the back, it does have a power on and off. DMX in and out, uh, this figure eight style cable, um, which is the same as my nine eyed lasers. Plus we have menu, up, down, enter, and this is the sensitivity level for your sound active mode. So I say we get this thing plugged in and see what she's gonna do. Now, of course, I do have plans to run this laser against, uh, I have three other lasers to compare it to. That will definitely be a separate video. Right now, I just kind of want to focus and on, let's see, get some power here. And it is firing up. All right. It does have a nice crisp lines on it. Of course, this display looks really small because there is not much distance between me and the laser itself. But uh, we'll get into that here in just a second. I'm not going to... Right now, I'm going to kind of go through... Go through the setups here with you. Now, as far as I know, this laser is pretty much the same as far as the three setups that are in here. So if we remember on my last video, I am going to go up to one. Now one is just going to be your laser patterns, which they are super crispy. The lines are nice and crisp. Um, again, the display on this is bigger than this. It's just the distance between me. If we go down to two, that'll be all of our animations. And of course we have our dolphin. That's the same animation in my Shed's laser. So we can count these out. So it gets back to the dolphin. So we've got one. Looks like we've got an ostrich there, which is two. Winnie the Pooh, which is three. Our flower and butterfly, which is four. Again, a lot of the similar, similar animations that my other laser does have. All right, guys, so as you're seeing here, I did have a little bit of a technical issue. The sound active mode was uh, was on, and I'll, I'll get into that a little bit on the back of this unit to show you how you could recognize whether it's on or off. As we're kind of scrolling through the uh, animations, now this is just the animations, um, there are 10 animations. So if we take a look here, we got our dolphin, which is the same that we have in our other lake. Uh, look like an ostrich. I believe in my other one, I've got like a deer running plus Winnie the Pooh. So that's three. Four is our flower and our butterfly. I'll count these out for you. 
Some of the animations are a little longer than the other ones. They are super cool and it is really crisp and clear as far as the laser presentation on the wall. Of course, you're not seeing the scanning part of this. Here's five. This is a similar animation to, it, to what we have in our other ones. Here's six. The uh, flying okay, hearts which are down there. Helping us out, motivating people to get on the dance floor. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, we will shoot some haze off here when we uh, do we a, see the scanning uh, abilities. Here is nine. And back to our original. So, like, and there are 10 animations in this. I am going to go ahead and change the setting. Uh, if we change this to setting one, it'll just be our patterns, which I like to call these are our laser patterns. Setting two is just the animations. And then setting three is going to be your animations and your patterns. Exactly the same as uh, the lasers I currently run. Um, like I said, these this is a crystal clear setup. Uh, I'm really enjoying uh, just how sharp these images are. Uh, it's got me kind of wondering, this is a... Bigger isn't always better, especially when it comes to these lasers, because when we take a look at this light compared to, say, the Shed's 3-watt light, uh, size-wise, they're going to be real similar, but output-wise, they are not going to be similar much at all, which we will get to see that when we do the comparison video next. Um, I am liking some of the patterns in here. They are a little bit different uh, than, than what I currently run. Again, I like to run the mix, and I will get that set in there so that we can kind of take a look at patterns with animations. So some of these patterns I had never seen, they, they are not in my other laser lights, but uh, let's just see her and take a look at it real quick. Uh, we'll let this thing run for a minute and see how she does. Uh, afterwards, I am going to get into uh, how you turn the sound active on and off without this being on a DMX controller. So as we kind of...
just kind of seen some of the animation patterns and the uh, the effects patterns, which like I said, there are quite a few different ones in here than are in my other lights. Um, we do not have this at distance, of course, uh, to get the, you know, the broad spectrum of how big their actually display is. But I wanted to talk to you real quick. Uh, a go I, you know, I can go with you all the DMX stuff and all that, but you know, they change X, Y axis, zoom in, zoom out, colors, all that stuff. Um, this is in sound active, your SE. And as we go through our menu here, you're gonna see that there's an A, an E, and then our SE function now. The, the way that you know that sound active is on in this, so if I hit, you see that little period that comes up right there? Now we are in sound active. So if I stop talking and there is no sound for this to react to, it'll stop, which is what we were doing with before. So I'll just turn that off. And then of course we have our sound sensitivity as we can turn that up and it's gonna react a little bit faster. And now as we go through here, you see our period still on. So our two, which is just our animations is in sound active. Our one, which is just our patterns is now in sound active. We turn that off and we can go through here. Three is gonna be our patterns and our animations without sound active on. So the dial at this point doesn't matter. It's just gonna run its show in the course that it runs it in. All right, guys, so as we get into this slide again, like I said, we can talk about the DMX stuff. This does come with a, a remote control. We're, we're gonna go over this a little bit because you can uh, turn your sound active on, things along those lines, uh, set it into its DMX channel modes, whether it be 34 channel or six channel. And now we're gonna talk about some of these other functions because there's a few cool things that this light does that, uh, that our other lights don't do. So we're gonna get into this. We're gonna get it back on the display here so you guys can see what we're doing. And uh, let's go through the remote and check this out. All right, guys, so as you can see, I've just got this display up here. Um, we are in our red, green, blue mode, which is uh, super cool. And this is tunnel effect, which is actually really sweet. Um, as we go through this remote here, I'm gonna hit the W which is white, which means all of our laser effects are gonna be in white. Uh, I really like that, that, that you have the option to control those things. We'll go back to red, green, and blue, as you can see, or we can switch it to red. So all the laser lights will be in red, depending on if you have a themed party for that. Let's go green. Super sweet, anim uh, not animations, but the effect patterns in here. We can go blue. We can go red green. I'm assuming it just makes that greenish red color there because I've seen it. Green blue, which gives us like this really nice teal. Red blue, which gives us that hot pink or uh, or purple. And then the other things we have on here is we can invert X, invert Y invert x and y which in essence we can make it go the other direction we don't want to go in that way we want to go in the other way let me get into another geometrical pattern before i check this other one out so we can set that to go up and down or side to side invert your laser pattern Go back to red, green, blue, which means all the laser functions are working. I do want to get back into some of the geometrics so that I can kind of show you how we can switch that from one side to the other side. On the round ones, it doesn't really matter as much. It's just in the sense of where it's going to be at. Lots of control in here as far as this remote goes. Uh, I don't have that much control over my other lasers. I kind of just set them and let them do what they do. But it is nice to be able to theme, theme your colors. Decide which way you want your animations to go. Have them go the other way. 
I know it's hard to tell because you can't really see me operating the remote here, but I am absolutely operating it. Set it into white, purple, green, red, super cool, red, green, and blue. I get to stay on an animation long enough. And we turn our star upside down. We can have it go side to side or up and down. You see I'm just manipulating the remote here. Switching it to red, to green, blue, red, green, green, blue, red, blue, invert X, invert Y, just changes it from side to side, up and down, and then swap X and Y. Lots of little functions in this. Let's go back to our red, green, and blue. Tons of things you can do. Set your sound active on, put it in an auto mode, turn this thing on and off, which is awesome. Put it in white, change your colors, invert your axes, swap your axes all together. So instead of going side to side, those go up and down. Uh, lots of cool little functions in this little controller. So uh, super versatile. Um, yeah, hey, I really don't know what the actual wattage of this laser is. Um, they're claiming that it is a 20 watt laser. Uh, I can assure you that it is not. And uh, I'll show you, you know, why we think that is because we do run a one watt sheds animated laser plus a three watt sheds animated laser. And uh, I seriously doubt this is 20 watts, but um, the IHEO animated laser, red, green, blue, white, the L2600 animations, we have 10 animations, over 200 effect patterns. Uh, some of them are absolutely really cool. They're not in any of our other lights as far as what those patterns are. Um, we will show you at distance uh, what this laser looks like, especially the scanning modes with the haze here in just a little bit when we shoot the other video on that. But uh, like I said, this the price point on this laser is about $140, which is the exact same price as the Shed's 1 watt laser. Um, tons of control in the remote. So uh, if you are looking for a compact top mount laser light uh, in this price point, tons of versatility, lots of control with the remotes, um, tons of DMS control. I didn't even go over the sheets and sheets and sheets of this. Make sure you check out this laser, the IHEO 3D animated red, green, blue laser light L2600. Check it out. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one.